Okay, Assalamualaikum Okay, hari ni aku akan buat aku punya swimming Okay So, hari ni aku akan test uh, dua jam Ni watch uh, that, uh, Apple Watch Dengan Apple Watch Series 5 lah Aku beli Okay Aku dengan orang aku beli salah satu So, dapat rezeki sikit lebih eh So, aku beli satu lagi lah Satu ni eh Watch Yang ni Garmin Garmin Aku 7 to 5 Okay uh, So, aku try Pakai new watch uh, Untuk swimming nanti Tengok distance dia dengan Dia punya timing Sama tak Okay Lebih kurang So, aku nak test run Okay, aku touch on this uh, Apple Watch lah Okay, this Apple Watch series Apple Watch eh Mereka cakap is uh, splash proof dengan waterproof So uh, Okay, sekejap Tunjuk So, this workout eh Dia sama juga macam Garmin Okay Just choose uh, workout uh, Swimming So, sini kita boleh choose lah Okay, swimming open goal Okay, dia punya length Kita boleh choose Okay kan Okay orang nampak Dia punya heart rate eh Dia punya heart rate Kira boleh detect Okay perfect tu Aku belum test Tengok dia punya heart rate Boleh detect tak tepat Dalam tempat water eh Swim Okay So ini length Sekejap So length Length dia kita boleh choose Okay sama macam kami juga Kita boleh choose dia length uh, Distance So from here Kita boleh tengok Okay Okay minus see? Okay minus Okay lower So hari ni kita bikin 50 50 meter lah Kira standard Olympic uh, uh, Swimming length Okay 50 meters Okay <coughs> This features eh This uh, Apple Watch eh Satu feature saya bagus Dia ada Ni Watermark Dia, dia bukan watermark Water Water drop punya uh, Icon lah So this water drop ni Icon Is to prevent Okay Jangan tunjuk kau Okay this icon This icon eh Aku tekan Okay Okay Got water drop The blue color Okay this icon is to prevent uh, Any Water ke Water to sit in lah Inside the uh, Apple Watch lah So Okay aku nak kena pakai lah Sebab nanti aku tak boleh Uh, tekan stop Because it's a sensor eh. So aku akan tekan start Okay korang nampak tak Okay you will pull ready 3, 2, 1 Go Okay as you can see Okay ada water droplet kat sini Eh uh, Blue droplet uh, Icon See You can see down here Okay it's automatically uh, Activated Sebab the, Kita nak pergi We What Maksud ramai kan So benda ni akan uh, active, uh, Automatically Activated So one this this icon is activated. So it's locked, you see? Okay, the reason why it's locked sebab dia tak nak uh, korang tertekan uh, any any function of the the punya button lah. Okay, okay. Okay, to prevent uh, if kita tertekan any button so kita uh, prevent them to water to sit in masuk dalam. So this is a design yang Apple Watch uh, Buat lah To prevent any damage Or water damage Okay So if to unlock Or to stop this uh, Timing right See So to prevent this Okay to unlock lah Kita nak kena pakai This stop Stop button Kita nak kena pusing uh, Anti clockwise Or clockwise uh, Cepat-cepat So macam gini See Ada Ada unlock Unlock and there ada sound Sound ni untuk keluarkan Err uh, Uh, some water droplets Inside the uh, Apple Watch ni lah So from here Kita dah boleh Tukar Dah You see Tadi water droplet right So kira ni macam lock lah Macam dia The lock uh, End Pause dengan new Okay So kalau nak end Just press end je lah Right End Okay So the thing will stop And we'll see your punya goal semua lah Okay ni nak kena pakai lah eh. Pakai watch kalau you tak pakai tempat watch eh Dia tak akan activate So kalau you buka Dia akan uh, Dia tak akan sense Kau punya workout lah Okay 
Dia always nak kena pakai tempat tangan Okay So aku akan swim Later Lepas tu kita akan tengok Alright So see you Bye bye So aku warm up semua So aku intend to do 2km Tapi aku terlajak Tu aku bikin 3km maksimum lah So aku baru habis so, Tangan aku semua kembang jari okay. Aku spend dalam pool around Dalam satu jam 30 minit So non stop Aku complete aku punya swim 3.2km Okay 3.2km So ini Apple Watch aku 3.2 km. So aku try biasakan dengan Garmin Watch is 3.4. 3.4. So <coughs> I don't know which one accurate. So later aku check dia punya apps whether accurate or not. Whether Garmin or my Apple Watch. Alright. So sekarang dah pukul 11. 11 This hot Perut aku pun lapar So later aku nak makan Okay And then Right Be responsible Be safe And stay healthy People See you guys Tangan semua kembang Yes Right Bye bye Okay. Saja so, habis aku punya swimming. So stay. Okey baik. Sun. So aku pergi belakan. But I don't know dia dah tadi maybe go west. So you was good swimming, relax. Tak pernah tak capek. Right. Okay, see you guys in a moment. Okay, out. Alright. minum buang semarang Hari ni eh Dia punya kalori Seven Very uh, Kira different tau Okay So kalau Most Usually Kalau aku lari 5km aku Kalau aku punya pace Dalam uh, Below 6 lah Pace below 6 minit right Around 5 minit 5.30 Or 5 uh, Nearly 6 right 5.30 lah right? maksimum Okay Dia punya kalori Mostly eh Aku punya kalori Seven eh For the pace For 5km lah Normal 5km Will be around 300 to 400 calories okay. Macam mana korang punya burn lah Korang punya intake Sebab uh, setiap orang eh, Dia punya body mass Dengan dia punya weight Dengan dia punya height uh, Dia punya intake of calories eh, 
different. The the nyeban pun different. So average normal person uh, for men eh is around 400 to 300 lah calories uh, for six minute pace ah below six ah kalau punya aku punya five uh, km. So okay for swimming ni is different. Swimming ni kalau kau swim kau kita try letak dalam 1 km ah 1 km dia punya burn eh can double up dengan kau punya lari ah boleh kali sebab apa tau sebab dia punya dia punya muscles dia punya muscle uh, workout is different okey jadi the whole body kita pakai uh, friction tau dia kau friction water friction water friction ni uh, is to tahan kau punya uh, kira macam sekatkan kau punya movement ah so water lah of course kalau lari ni it's different dia macam kira badan kau kira kira kau lari, badan semua gerak tapi dia punya force for friction dia tak tak begitu ketara lah, uh, dengan swimming okey so swimming ni ingat eh dia kita deal dengan water so water ni kita menyekatkan kita punya movement so kita uh, perlukan a lot of strength lah okey once kalau kau dah stroke swim eh so you need to pull you need to pull lepas tu kau punya pull kau you need more muscle to move forward eh? kalau macam lari tak macam lari kita lajak kita lajak so we don't need more strength lah. to to gain the speed so swimming ni kita nak kena nak use our force and our leg to keep to move forward eh? ingat eh swimming dengan lari eh kalau this Paling banyak burn is swimming Trust me, you can try Experiment Okay So, itu je aku nak share dengan korang Alright So, apa-apa ah, -apa, ha? Apa-apa Just uh, uh, Leave a comment lah. And subscribe aku channel lah kan It's time for subscribe lah eh. Tolong aku, betul tak? Uh, aku tak pro Aku tak begitu bagus Tapi aku Try aku share aku punya Experience how aku punya workout Cara aku swimming dengan Lepas swimming dengan lari lah eh? So it's a, it's a basic thing lah Kalau kita nak buat kita punya workout exercise Okay Nak kena ada equal lah Run and swim Okay So if you have this uh, Multi Sport in, uh, Skills I think you are there already For cycling Cycle ni aku tak minat sangat Sebab aku Prinsip aku dulu aku selalu cakap uh, I don't need any mechanical to support me lah uh, For my sport So me Mechanical advantage ni uh, Yang aku cakap ni actually Cycling lah uh, okay? Cycling bukan bukan tak bagus Tapi uh, Cuma aku tak minat cycling I'm more to uh, Running and swimming lah uh, Daripada dulu Okay Right So Ni aku punya advice Be responsible Be safe and stay healthy.